Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the NECA Toys Alien Xenomorph. From the new line of Alien figures from the folks over at NECA Toys that celebrates the 35 years of Alien. Recommended for ages 17 and up. Gotta admit the size of this Xenomorph, I can't wait to get him opened up, he looks incredible. However, we flip around the back of the package. The read-up says, in space no one can hear you scream, in a remote region of the galaxy, the United States space tug Nostromo, carrying a cargo of mineral ore, makes its return journey back to Earth, or journey to Earth. The ship's crew, five men, two women and a cat, are awakened from their hypersleep chambers when Mother, the onboard computer, monitors a strange transmission. According to company law, the crew must investigate any signal indicating possible intelligent life. What begins as a routine search mission quickly escalates into a nightmare of unimaginable terror when the crew discovers and brings aboard an extraterrestrial life form. It's a really nice artwork on the top there of the Xenomorph as well. You can head over to www.necaonline.com to certainly check out not only the alien property figures that they're producing, but the whole spectrum of other figures that they're producing as well. Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up. When we come back, we are going to get a better look at the Xenomorph. There's more Henny Way, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. So, having a look at the Xenomorph, extremely impressed. This is not the first, nor likely the last, Xenomorph that uh, NECA Toys will be producing. They have done a wide range of different Xenomorph figures, ranging from like the, uh, the Alien vs. Predator figures, the AVPR figures, they've covered those. They've covered really a, a huge spectrum of different Alien figures. And uh, I would say though, this probably could be one of my favorites. There's little things, little tweaks that they've done to this figure versus some of the other pieces that we've received that just has me excited for this to, for this particular Xenomorph over, say, some of the others. I guess for me, really, what, what it boils down to is, for starters, that head. How much of the components are reused from previous Xenomorph figures? That I'm not really too certain about, but... Uh, Whereas the other Xenomorph figures tend to have, like, a lot a lot of their domes te tend to be more of a clear or slightly opaque. This particular Xenomorph has a really nice frosted effect. If you move, if I bring the camera in, let's bring the camera in so I can show you guys. You can still see the skull, the inner skull of the Xenomorph, as well as all the inner scaling of the, the un what would have been underneath the dome. But it's frosted, which is... Ex really similar to how he looked in the movie, this kind of frosted dome. It doesn't frost all the way back. In fact, it kind of gets to about here, and then it's a, a little bit lighter of a color. But it's so really different than some of the other stuff we've gotten from NECA that uh, this, this dome alone, just the, the, the frosting of the dome, really makes this a beautiful looking piece. It takes nothing, hopefully, away from the rest of the detail that we see in this figure, because once again, just... The level of detail, the level of sculpt, the level of paint that NECA put into it is just incredible. Um, also, I'm loving the fact that some of the things that we didn't benefit from before, as NECA moves, uh, you know, broadens their, their spectrum of how they can produce their toys, uh, starting to give us things that we didn't get before, one of the things that we can benefit from with a figure like this is an added level of articulation. This figure has a ton of articulation. I'll get into that in a second, but before that, I just want to show you guys some of the other uh, detailings uh, on this piece. Now, this particular alien uh, figure doesn't, it does have the opening mouth, but it doesn't look like there's any sort of button or anything like that to activate the, uh, the actual head uh, mechanism. There's no button or anything on the back. Um, I suppose what you could do is you could probably just kind of fish your hand in there and pull it out. But, you know, I I would not necessarily play with trying to get that out. You would want, you not want that to uh, to break off. 
Unless I'm missing something, I don't see though a, a button or, or anything like that where you could deploy that mouth, which is fine because not all the mouths on the alien figures have to jet out. I mean, I'm fine just with them being ones that can just open and close. Another nice inclusion is these little piston, uh, like little, pi not really pistons, but like these little uh, straps, these little tubes that run out from the back of the, the alien's mouth. So when you move the mouth, like this section right here has a lot of give and it looks it looks more realistic the fact that this is a separate piece and a separate tubing rather than if it was just sculpted in but uh, i love this i love this mouth this i might even just have the mouth maybe partially open something like that but i mean I, you're looking at this and, and like it's just it's just a fantastic looking piece and sorry if i sound so much like a broken record here but it is just a spectacular piece also things that small things that go really a long way is that not only did they paint it but they've put like um like a wet wash uh, over top of the the paint that they put on it so it gives it this wet look and you can see kind of as i tip it against the light how that wet, the wet on the uh, the paint reflects the light, and it just really makes it feel like this is like a like a living creature, very similar, exactly like the movie where components like he's in water, or you know, like he just has a really a like a wet wet look to him. And it's just a really nice touch. Uh, his tail, very common, very common that uh, the tail is a pliable wire inside. So you can move and manipulate any which way you want. It's quite a long tail too. I mean, I don't have it fully extended, fully flattened out, I should say, but uh, you, you can move it and bend it to really any way that you want. Um, the thing is though, because he is such a skinny looking figure and his head is so large, he is a little bit prone to being top heavy. So I would say, you know, if you kind of move the tail down you can kind of compensate for the fact that he does have the upper weight in the in the in the head you know section right here but it, you know it's such a it's again such a nice looking piece now for its articulation again this is i think where NECA is really showing leaps and bounds for how they're they're uh, improving their craft um, before when we were looking at things like the cult classic figures you would get a super sculpted figure but again, you would rely so much on just, um, you know, with, with arm swivels, leg swivels, and, uh, and, you know, just a head rotation. Uh, with this alien, it's, again, leaps and bounds over what we were getting before. Uh, his head does rotate up and down. I say his, but his head rotates up and down, rotates left and right via ball joint here. The shoulders, though a little stiff right away, uh, the shoulders are on a hinge socket joint, so they move out and they move forward and back. He has a rotation in the bicep area. He has a bend in the elbow and rotation in the forearm, uh, a rotation and bend pivot in the hand. And once again, there's some nice sculpt on the hand there as well. When it comes to the upper torso, the upper torso is on a ball joint, so you can Bend him up, down, left and right. And then when you get to the legs, I'm so glad that they put like hinges. And so instead of it just being a swivel where it moves left and right or back and forth, it also moves out. So you can kind of have it lunging, kind of cropped down, which is a nice way to display him too. Uh, he does again have that hinge out, but it's also swivels. So you can swivel those legs out. Uh, he has a double bend in the knee and a not only a bend in the foot but also if i can show you here a hinged toe as well can hinge down and hinge up so again you can really get some some nice uh, fantastic poses at him looking at him because he is based on the alien movie i would only really want to get one of these uh, probably maybe even a second one just to keep him sealed because it's a piece that i will want to keep in my collection for a very long time NECA in this particular wave has also released an Aliens figure, an Aliens version of the Xenomorph, which we will be looking at as well. 
he's the kind of figure that if he if he is as fantastic as this figure is, I'm probably going to want to pick up a couple of them and definitely have a really awesome diorama of the Marines with the numerous aliens. Aneka wowed me in this figure right here. Uh, an improved articulation, which we didn't have before. Uh, fantastic paint. I love, again, the wet paint wash that they put on there. It's not wet, but again, it looks like the, the Xenomorph is wet. Uh, again, fantastic sculpt. And I love the inclusion of the domed helmet. Uh, that is a nice way to go. For that reason, the Xenomorph from Alien, I'm going to give it a 9.5. Today's Toy Spot, we're having a look at the NECA Toys Alien figure, or the Alien Xenomorph figure, from the new Alien line celebrating, I can't even believe it, I still can't believe it, what, 30 years of Alien figures, or of the Alien movies? That's quite phenomenal. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have the review of the Aliens Xenomorph heading your way as well. That's definitely right around the corner. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.